came out of this person, and in the beginning we were like really formal, and so we have like the same topic and it's really good, and now we're being less formal, but that's okay, right? Yeah, you're building a relationship. It's like the first okay. time you meet somebody, you're just polite. So we, well, okay, so I know, well, okay, so this is how it went. We were really formal, and then we didn't use like greetings as much, and then we were just kind of talking, and now I said, she had to go to her next classroom, so I was like, okay, sounds good, I'm excited to work on this project together. And she didn't use capital letters, and she said, me too. So okay. Is that okay? We're filming. Are we good? Thank, I'll be right there. Thanks. Is that okay? Yeah, because you're building a relationship. It's like the first time you meet someone, you're not sure, sure who they are. You find common grounds, and as you build those common connections, you become more acquainted with that person, and you become less formal and more friendly. I have another question. <laughs> Surprise. So, um, do you, okay, so, <clears throat> Mr. Staker, point Wait. the camera towards her. It is, I get. Yeah, because I feel like it's directly, directly at us. Like. Yeah. Okay, so when, um. Go ahead. Okay, so when, I don't know how to say this. Okay, so I have a couple questions. One is, when I find other people to work with, do I tell, like this person that I'm already work with, working with, if I find another person, do I tell her that? Sure, I think so, because the more you add, you know, up to a point, the more people that you add to your research, the greater the amount of information that you gather. Well, I only email two people. And that's fine, and that's fine. Okay. If you get two people that are working as hard as you will, I think, I think you guys will do great stuff. Okay. All right, Kelsey, you wanted to chat. Yeah. Broad and then just not very, I don't know how to put it, like not very good, I guess. Formal. Yeah. For, focused, maybe? Yeah, they focused. were just like some like easy stuff, like how does the, how does pollution affect water or something like that. Like okay, so you were looking for more focused questions yeah. that helped you understand what other people were thinking. Yeah. Okay, well that's something to think yeah, about. Like they need to, like, so if you get an email from someone that's a little bit too general, what would your response be? Well, I'm like, would I like help them make it more focused? Okay, maybe asking them if they could define more clearly what they want to work on. Good. Okay. I think that's great. Kayla, did you have something you wanted to? <laughs> yeah, okay. It might be a little confusing at first how I put this, but just. Okay. <laughs> there. Right, wait. Okay, so there. I emailed one person, like, okay, so I emailed four people. And I got, the first person that emailed me back, he was telling me how he has a partner, and his partner emailed me back yesterday, and I felt like the first guy I emailed, I'm not the name, but um, he like seemed very formal, and almost like, I felt like he would do a good job with this project, because I just, judging from the way he um, described what he's doing, I felt like, you know, he was into this, yeah. So, if I understand what you're saying, because he was very formal, very focused, you thought, hey, this, this is a worker. This is someone that yeah. I can work with and I don't have to worry about carrying their load and, and not being satisfied with what this person will be able to do. So it was important, that first impression that they made on you? Yeah, but then again, he said he has a partner and then his partner emailed me back yesterday and I had said to him, like, you know, I introduced myself and I said what I'm working on and if he was interested in it, you know, I said, like, dear, blah, 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 and then sincerely, Kayla. And then um, all he said was, BTW, wait, no, so blah, blah, blah is my partner, BTW. He didn't even say, like, anything. He didn't make it a formal email. And so I feel like he's not, like, he didn't even explain what he's doing. So he's, you feel like all of a sudden he disconnected from you? Yeah. Is but, that, okay. But I feel like I want to work with this partner, but I, like, you know what I mean. I don't want to have to like do all the work for him and then his partner is like... Have you reached out to his partner? Yeah, I no. talked to both of them. Okay. Do you feel comfortable overall with the group? Uh, um, I emailed two other people, but then like I e went, like I emailed them first. So if I tell them no, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Well, remember what we're doing. We're trying to develop a connection with other people that we hope have similar interests. Okay. So if that response comes back and maybe it doesn't line up as closely with what you hoped to accomplish, you might 
simply say, you know what, I, I think I might be going a different way or my focus has changed, you know, because it sounds like it, it's, it's kind of, you've got an area that you're aiming at, but within that area, you may have a more, more focused emphasis. That yeah. makes sense a little bit? Yeah, there's like still two people from that same school who um, have yet to email me back. And I looked at one of them, and one of them was a girl. And she seemed to really have a like detailed um, description of what she's doing about landslides and things like that. Okay. So I felt like if she emails me back, then maybe I could kind of go yeah. see if... And, and this is, you know, sending out the email is easy. The hard part is looking at what you get back mm -hmm. and what to do with it. Ava? Did, so the people from Vista, they didn't get their art emails? Or who the e it they emails are going through. Oh, so wait, okay. do I have to resend the ones that I already sent? Because there's this girl, and I, she seems like a really good match for me because I've emailed her and she hasn't responded yet. But um, and she, I think she's from Vista. Okay, I would double check that email that you sent. If there's a, a bounce back message, like the domain server yeah, kicked this back, it. then I you'd want to copy it. Okay, well then just be paid. Remember, it's only been a day. I know you're all excited to get this done, but also, take, what, a, take a breath. what happens if no one has emailed you or, like, um, no one emails you yet? And that's okay. Then, well, then, you work work then you just find a way to get your work done with people close by in the school or, you know, send out, open your search a little bit more. Okay. Uh, Hannah? Um, okay. So, on the form, I had a question, but... I didn't really, it was kind of too broad for me, or no, too narrow. And so I kind of changed my question, and then I changed it up in the email. Is that okay? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, because my topic is, like, almost completely changed. Yeah, and that's okay. Because as you learn more about your question and, and what you want to focus on, that question may change. That's science. I have a quick question. Looks like you guys are ready to go to lunch. Well, quick. Now that I got to know my person, should I ask her about, like, her interests and stuff? She could. Develop a relationship, sure. Oh All right. God. Thanks. Ah, Thanks, ladies. Thank